Hello there again everybody, it's UXW Bill here and this is a this is a long-standing video request. Back when I made the video about the uh, stove fuse blowing upstairs, I uh, talked about the fact that this house actually has a rather interesting electrical distribution system. That is to say that the electricity in this house was installed in a couple of different phases. And the first set of panels that you saw heads off to the laundry room. Those are in the laundry room and those are the ones that power the majority of the house and I would say they are the oldest of the bunch that they were here probably when the place was built. Now I'll bet that the main and range one over there wasn't added until later but this one this is where the service comes into the house at and this house has a 60 amp per leg service and this is this is where it comes in the electrical meter is actually out there on the side of the house and then it runs into this box via the uh, conduit and as you can see this is an older box. This is a Trumbull Electric Manufacturing Company box. They were located in Plainville, Connecticut. And at the time, they were affiliated with General Electric. General Electric acquired them fairly early on. I want to say in the early, uh, in the early 1900s, somewhere around the 10s or the 20s, somewhere in there. As to how old this box is, we don't know exactly for sure, but you can tell that it's definitely not new. Now it says patents pending on it, but I'm not aware of any patent numbers on it, so there's nothing I can do to research it there. But the actual working block inside this thing, the uh, fuse, the pull-out block, and the four branch circuits, there was a code stamped into that, 238, which I would almost take to mean possibly, you know, either, you know, maybe the second week in 1938 or even February 1938, which seems reasonable enough looking at this thing. Now, yes, that makes this fairly old service equipment, but in my book, well-maintained old service equipment with no known faults is not an exceptionally dangerous thing to have. And as you can see here, it says 60 amp, 125 to 250 volts AC, and three pole. Now, if we open this up, you'll see that in here there is a map of the main fuses and the range fuses and the four branch circuits as well as what they could be used for and a ground tab. Now up here I have drawn my own map and I had forgotten this was in here but this explains where the various things go and uh, I don't know what this fuse does it's not labeled in my diagram this one goes to the furnace this one uh, controls the outlets in here as well as a couple of the outlets in the living and dining rooms and it's probably a little optimistic to have 30 amp fuses in these. They should probably be smaller than that, and that is something I will be changing. And then this one over here, this is this room's outlets and lights. And again, you know, 30 amps is probably a bit excessive. Now the main circuit kills power to the whole house. That's this one over here on the left. The range circuit over here actually goes over to those boxes, run via very heavy gauge wire. You can just kind of see it up there, leaving the box. But that runs via very heavy gauge wire off to the boxes and the uh, subsequent branch circuits that are over in the laundry room. Now, some people might look at this as somehow being unsafe or dangerous, and quite frankly, I don't feel that it's either because we have central air conditioning. That's the uh, red and black wire there. Somewhere there should be a neutral for that. I'm not sure. There it is up there. It's hooked in up with all that stuff. And when the central air conditioning kicks on in this house, it dims the lights a lot less than I've seen in many newer buildings. And so as far as I'm concerned, this service equipment is in very good condition. And in fact, about 10 years ago, we had a, we had a brownout. And the brownout blew one of the fuses in the main cartridge holder on this box. And after that, things weren't right. Even when we replaced the fuses, the uh, level of voltage was seesawing up and down wildly in this house. Occasionally we could smell things getting hot. We smoked one surge protector. We lost a television set. And things just generally weren't right. In fact, you can see an artifact in just how hot things were right there. It actually bubbled that Bakelite out. I don't know if that's Bakelite or not, but I think it is. Anyway, when that happened, and we got the fuse replaced, nothing in this house was right. So I called up the city light plant and I said, look, there's something seriously wrong here and I don't think it's us. And they said, oh, it's you, you've got old wiring, old service in that house, it's dangerous, you need to get rid of all of it, you need to just throw it away. Which I wasn't buying, not even for a minute. But they persisted. And finally, I called an old man who was a very good electrician, forgot more about electricity than the people working for the city would ever know. 
And I called him in here and he said, you know, turn the power back on to the house, which we did. We had it turned off for our own safety so we didn't start a fire in this old house or have anything equally deleterious happen. He came in here, we turned on a lot of heavy loads, our dehumidifiers, laser printers. We didn't turn on the central air because we felt that was pushing it a little too hard. And with things like that going, we didn't turn on the stove either, but with all the lights in the house on, the dehumidifier, stuff like that, he stuck an amp probe up there on the two hots. And between the two of them, we're pulling 20 amps each on, about, on both of them. And he looked at us and he says, problem's not in this house. Never has been. So I called the city back up, and I said, well, I think you guys need to come out here. And they found it one foot from the utility pole. The neutral had burned in two and was causing the uh, voltage to seesaw wildly in the house. But while we were in here working, we disconnected all this wiring, and we took this block out of here, and we gave it a complete R&R. &R. We cleaned the contacts, coated them with antioxidant, um, gave everything a fresh shine, and that was in about 2001 or so, when we had this big old breakdown. And ever since then, anything, everything has been fine. And in a modern household, this box holds up very well. You know, we've never had any problems with it, never had any safety concerns or anything like that. And so I stand by my assertion that well-maintained electrical equipment, even if it's old, is not necessarily an indication that something is dangerous and should just be replaced. Obviously, you do have to be respectful of this thing's limits. You wouldn't want to come in here with, say, an electric dryer and an electric stove and an electric water heater because that would that would break it. That would be the end of that. But the um, our stove is the only major electric appliance we have. Our dryer is gas, our water heater is gas, and our heating is gas as well. So. There's really no problem with this. It works extremely well and it's very reliable. So there you have it for those of you who asked. Just a quick little look at the main service panel coming into this old house. Thank you for watching and if you have a comment, feel free to leave one below. And oh, by the way, just real quick, if you were wondering just how old of a name the Trumbull Electric Manufacturing Company is, you can see it right there at the top of their logo. Whoops. Established 1899.